Suppose that Speed's Pub had a net income last year of $42,000. This is after accounting for their fixed costs of $140,000 and their variable costs of $82,000. In other words, if we try to utilize the following formula, we know that the total profit that they received was $42,000. We're not really given any information about the total revenue, so I'm going to keep that in here as TR. And then we are given some information about variable costs and fixed costs. So usually we take our total revenue, we'll subtract off our variable costs of 82,000, and we'll subtract off our fixed costs of 140,000. This means that altogether our costs were 200. $22,000. And adding those costs back to the net income will tell us that in this particular case we had a total revenue of $264,000. Now we should have enough firepower to start working on some of the questions here. What was the pub's break-even point for sales? Well, in order for the pub to break even, they need to cover all of their costs. So the break-even point in terms of sales dollars is going to assume that we are going to make a total revenue $222,000. If we can earn that in revenue, then we know that we can cover our total costs. Anything that we make above this comes in as profit. So for example, we actually brought in $264,000, which gained us a net profit of $42,000. Now let's consider the hypothetical scenario where in the current year we're in fixed costs are going to rise to 145,000. Variable costs are going to remain the same percentage of sales as for last year. And then we want to consider what our break even point in dollars is going to be again. So first, let's write down that we know the fixed costs in this current year are going to rise up to $145,000. Next, we want to determine the percentage of sales that variable costs were last year. Taking our variable costs of $82,000 and taking our total revenue of $264,000, we can see that the variable costs were about 31.06% of total sales last year. So let's assume that our variable costs this year are going to be in the same proportion as they were last year. In other words, that means our variable costs should be 31.06% of our total revenue that we're going to bring in this year. Now we have enough information to start working on our total profit function. And remember, our total profit is our total revenue minus our total costs. We're not given really any information about the total revenue, so let's go ahead and start filling in our total costs. We need to subtract our variable costs, which are going to be 31.06% of the total revenue. And then we're going to subtract off our fixed costs of 145,000. If we're curious about the break even point, we do need to set our total profit equal to zero. Let's add our 145,000 to both sides and then clean up our like terms. We have one TR minus 0 0.3106 TRs. And that gives us 0 0.6894 times our total revenue. So if I want to figure out what revenue level I need in order to break even this year, I can divide both sides by 0.6894. And doing this division gives us a break-even sales amount of around $210,327.82. Finally, we could ask the question, what sales in our current year are going to result in a profit of $50,000? And to answer that question, we can come back up to the total profit function that we made and add in that profit we would like to see. So for $50,000 in profit, we would have our total revenue minus our variable costs minus our fixed costs. 
We already know that the TRs will simplify and give us 0.6894. Let's go ahead and add 145,000 to both sides so that we have 195,000 on the left side. And dividing both sides by 0.6894 gives us that the revenue we need to bring in in order to make a $50,000 profit it's going to be around $282,854.66.